In this tutorial, we are going to go through addition of numbers up to five. Now, there are many ways of doing this, but the two most popular methods used in schools are the dots method and the fingers method. We are going to do both. So let's start with a nice easy example. What is 3 plus 1? 3 plus 1. We're going to start with the dots method. For the dots method, what we do is we place dots above the numbers and then we count them, we add them. So let's go through this. The number 3 has 3 dots. 1, 2, 3. The number 1 has 1 dot. In order to add them, we simply count how many dots there are. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is our answer. 4. Let's write that down. There we go. 3 plus 1 is 4. Let's look at another example. What is 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2. For the dots method, we add dots here and dots here. How many dots do we add here? 1, 2. How many dots do we add here? It's the same. 1, 2. How many dots are there in total? 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is our answer. 4. Let's work through another example. What is 3 plus 2? 3 plus 2. Again, let's write the dots down. 1, 2, 3. How many dots go here? That's right, it's 1, 2. So how many dots are there in total? We are adding the numbers, so we just count the number of dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is our answer, 5. Do you see how easy it is? Let's work through one more example using the dots method. What is 4 plus 1? 4 plus 1. The number 4 has 4 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4. We put them into a square. 4. The number 1 has just one dot. We are adding the numbers, so we just count how many dots there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is our answer. 5. And that is the dots method. Nice and easy to use, and it's a nice introduction to adding small numbers. And let's put a line through the middle here. We're going to do the same questions, but this time we are going to use the fingers method. So let's write the first question down again. What is 3 plus 1? Okay, have you got your fingers ready? 3 plus 1. This is how we do it. Start with the first number, 3. Hold out three fingers. One, two, three. There we go. Three fingers. We're going to add one. So what we can do is we just add another finger. How many fingers are there now? One, two, 
three, four. And that is our answer, four. Notice, we've used the fingers method, and we've got three plus one equals four. The dots method, three plus one equals four. Now let's do the second one. What is two plus two? Two plus two. Using the fingers method, we start with two fingers. One, two. How many fingers do we open up as well? Two. Another two fingers. So we got one, two. It's two. Those are the first two. Plus another two. One, two. How many fingers do we have now? One, two, three, four. And that is our answer. Four. Let's check it with the dots method. 2 plus 2 equals 4. The fingers method, 2 plus 2 equals 4. Same answer. Let's do the third one. 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2. Now you have a go at this one as well. How many fingers do we hold up? 3. 1 two, three. How many more fingers do we open up? It's another two. One, two. How many fingers are there now? One, two, three, four, five. The dots method, three plus two equals five. The fingers method, three plus two equals five. We're getting the same answers. Now let's do the last one. 4 plus 1 equals... Okay, how many fingers do we open up? We open up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. It's plus 1. We open up one more finger. Well, it's a thumb, actually, but it's the same. It's a way to do the numbers. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 1. And now we just count them, count how many fingers and thumb we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is our answer. Let's just double check with the dots method. 4 plus 1 equals 5. The fingers method, 4 plus 1 equals 5. And that is addition of numbers up to 5 using the dots method and using the fingers method. You can use both.